So today I'm going to go ahead and make a grilled cheese sandwich Gordon Ramsay style. Now I got this ideal where he creates this amazing looking grilled cheese with kimchi, cooks it in an iron skillet in his fireplace. Well, we're going to do a very, very similar recipe on the Blackstone and see how well it comes out. Uh, basically, what we've got here is some, uh, we have some Asiago cheese and some Romano cheese right here. Just a couple slices of bread. Uh, this is just basic bread, Sara Lee, nothing fancy here. I went ahead and buttered them and sprinkled some salt on top of the butter. And here's the kim kimchi. It's not um, homemade as Gordon Ramsay does, uh, but it is store-bought and it is the hot version. So we're gonna add that uh, to this in just a second. So. so I just wanted to break in here real quick and say, you know, you might see a slight blur, especially on that main camera because, well, when I was getting the butter, we got some on this lens. And I use multiple cameras, so I'm not a videography expert. I'm not even a chef. I'm just an okie that cooks on the internet. So uh, anyway, back to the video and pardon the slight blur just from time to time. So there's really not much else to do than let's get this started. First is go ahead and add a little olive oil. Get that rubbed in. I've been preheating this for a while. Got it on medium down here. So I've got all four burners on. Really probably don't need to, but got this whole thing nice and warm. And we're just gonna go ahead and add this one slice of cheese. I can hear it sizzle. Then we're gonna go ahead and first add the Asiago. Next, we're gonna add the Romana cheese on here. Add a little bit right there. Now, in Gordon Ramsay, he uses pepperberry Romana, Romana cheese, and I don't have but regular. So I'm gonna actually add some peppercorns, which has a mixture, and it has some pink peppercorns to kinda give it a little bit closer of a resemblance. So let me do that. Just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some kimchi. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this kimchi right out of here. A nice big dose of it. Just cover that in like that. We're gonna add the rest of the cheese, the Asiago on the same side as the Asiago, and the Ramona on this side. One more time, I'm gonna go ahead, add that little bit of that peppercorn mixture. And then we're just gonna put this other slice right on here. And I wanna press this down a little bit with this. Might have, should have not have done that just yet. Butter came off. We'll press it down when we flip it. Right now, let's just let that cook. I'm gonna go ahead and add a dome to it. And then we're just gonna let this cook for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Then we're just gonna flip it. It's been a minute and a half, almost two. Let's go ahead and do a flip. See how the bottom looks? Oh yeah, I was ready to flip. Cheese fell out. Get that cheese back in there. A little bit of a malfunction. There we go. Now this time let's go ahead and press it. Okay, let that all press together. Hopefully help melt that cheese. I'm going to put the dome on. I'm going to turn the, the um, I'm going to turn it down to low just so I don't burn anything and then we're gonna let it cook another minute and a half or so. And like I said before, I really don't need these on, so I'm gonna turn those off to save fuel. Just get the middle burners on right now. 
When I start cooking, I sometimes just like to get the whole thing hot. I don't know, you don't really have to, especially if you're just cooking an egg or something, you don't need this whole thing hot. I just like to get it hot, and then once I start cooking, I'll eliminate where I'm not needed it, just as I preheat the black stone anyway. Let's go ahead and take a look. Nice and golden brown. Cheese is, look at this. Yeah, look at that, starting to really gooey, cheesy coming out. That's pr I'm just gonna let that cook for about 30 more seconds. I think she's about ready to get cut into. And we're gonna put it right over here and cut into it and see how it is. Nice and golden brown. <laughs> Look at that. Holy moly. Lost some of the kimchi there, but that's okay. I'll eat that up. This is kimchi grilled cheese Asiago Romano cheese, a little bit of peppercorn, uh, very similar to the Gordon Ramsay recipe on the Blackstone. Let's check it out. It's got a nice spice, that kimchi, that cheese. Now, what can I say? This is the Oki Smoking Channel where we do everything outdoors on the Blackstone, on the pit barrel, and much more. And grilled cheeses is, is just something I like to make. When it's cool outside, especially with tomato soup or something, um, there'll be more grilled cheeses made on this channel from grilled cheeses with jalapenos to uh, different things added to it, ham. You could just the limit. There is none when it comes to grilled cheese. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe and try this kimchi grilled cheese. Really good.